We're working off a selfie stick today, so hopefully I am not too shaky. I have, with dystonia, I have a natural tremor. So I try not to do selfie sticks too much because I shake a lot all the time. That's why I never paint my own nails because if I tried to paint my own nails, it'd be like painting the entire tips of my fingers. It's just not pretty. It's the 14th of July when I'm filming this and um, we have spent all $400 in the grocery envelope already. Let me tell you why. It's really, really, really hot today. Are my glasses fogging up? Feels like they are, they're kind of hazy. So this month is different. One, it's summer, and two, we're by ourselves. As you have seen in my videos, my parents are on a long cruise and we have had the house all to ourselves. Now, while I've been doing all the meal planning and the food prep and everything, and some of the grocery buying, I don't do all of the grocery buying, but since they've been gone, we've been buying all the groceries. And I didn't budget in for that at all. But there's actually two major factors as to why we are over budget already halfway through the month and we have plowed through our grocery envelope. The first reason is that I have been on a huge health food kick and my goal is to eat the vast majority of my meals with a huge amount of fresh fruits and vegetables. And that is getting really expensive. For example, I went to the farmer's market the other day and got all these amazing tomatoes and I got baby eggplant and some beautiful blackberries and corn. Got six ears of corn. So not a huge amount of vegetables, but vegetables I love, especially the homegrown tomatoes. Oh my goodness. These little tiny tomatoes are amazing. But that was 40 bucks right there just for that. And that's just like tomatoes and corn and stuff. I'm finding that I'm going to the grocery store a lot for fruits and vegetables, like several times a week. So, you know, cause I want them fresh, but at the same time, I, I don't know that going to the grocery store that frequently is really good for my budget. Cause every single time I went, I ended up picking up other stuff. Now, normally those kind of trips would be trips that my parents would make. So those wouldn't come out of our budget, but the farmer's market trip, that is 100% me. And I gotta tell you, the fruits and vegetables out of there are so much better than normal fruits and vegetables. I mean, seriously better. So I've been spending a ton on fruits and vegetables. I mean, like easily half of my grocery budget at this point. But in the upside, I've lost five pounds. So I don't know, is it worth it? For me, it might be. The other reason you're gonna laugh. So remember back in, I think it was February, Mauricio got surprise want us ticket. So the first thing in our budget that I am going to talk about is expensive and it's frivolous and I know it, but I'm super excited about it. Mauricio and a bunch of his coworkers got together and they decided that they wanted to go see Juanes in concert. And Juanes is an awesome Colombian singer and he is coming to the area. And I am super, super, super excited to go with Mauricio and it's gonna be so much fun. Um, we don't do this very often. And what we decided is rather than doing Valentine's Day, we were gonna go ahead and purchase these tickets. We went to the concert last night and it was great. Mauricio and I had so much fun. And 
Juana is, is a great performer. He was there. It, it was like 100 degrees on the sun kind of day. Yeah, it was nasty hot. And it was the evening. It started at 8 o'clock, but it was still like 90 degrees when he came out. He came out in a long sleeve shirt and sweatpants. So I'm thinking by the end of that concert, ugh, he was so sweaty and gross. <laughs> it was pretty funny. I was like, dude. Check the weather before you put on your, your concert attire. Anyway, that was a random tangent. So we hadn't accounted for the for several things with the concert. One, two margaritas there cost $35. Two beers cost $27.50, I think. $26.50. You'll see it at the end of the month in the budget. So we had two drinks each at the concert because we were sitting inside. So we couldn't actually... Uh, bring our own cooler or anything like that. So yeah, the drinks there were redonkulously expensive and it was too hot. Well, I can't say it wasn't too hot to have drinks because I could have drank water. But oh, and we did get two bottles of water also. All of which we drank in the two and a half hours we were at the concert. So we didn't plan for stuff like that because well, honestly, we don't normally go out. So how would we know? We'll know for next time. But the other thing is that because my parents are gone, we had to pay for a babysitter. So we hired one of the kids from the neighborhood and Melina loved her, but the going rate for babysitters in this area is $15 an hour for high school kids. I know, I actually polled all of my friends in the neighborhood to find out what the going rate was. Cause you know, we never hire a babysitter cause my parents are always there. And they said 15 to $20 is going the going rate. And I figured for a 15 year old, $15 was plenty. And then we had to buy them a pizza because we, she came to babysit at five. And so they weren't ready for dinner. That was like 140, $160 out of the budget right there alone. And because I hadn't put it in the budget, we used grocery money for it. Cause you know, that's why grocery money's there. I don't know, what do you guys do when you run out of money and you still have a lot of month left? Because this month is definitely a more month than money kind of month. Yeah. So give me give me some suggestions because we still got a lot of the month left and get we're out of cash. <laughs> so anyway, I just thought I'd update you with what is going on in our world. So I'll see you in the next one. See ya. We're out.